coming up in today's video, Milo gets over his fear of ditches, I climb a pole and stay there, and I turn into a chihuahua. Welcome back guys, it is Saturday morning and it starts off with mucking out Milo's disgusting stable. Every morning I was up at about half six, I would muck out his stable, give him a bit of a hand grace and he could have a leg stretch and then I would give him his breakfast while I was having mine and I would start watching everybody else get ready for their lesson and then head down and watch the morning lessons. So this is the first group ready to head down, in total now about 49 people at camp. So a lot of ponies, so there must have been about 20 or so people um, doing the morning lessons. But this was the morning lesson for Nikki's group, she taught my lesson later on in the day. But I always came down and watched because I made a friend in this group and it was quite nice to see what they were doing so I could mentally prepare for my lesson. So I didn't get any videos of me doing the little show jump exercise, but he was really good in the show jumping. I'm not going to talk too much about it just because there was a video of me on the day talking about it. But after we did about 45 minutes of show jumping, we then went on to arena eventing. And I will just say that I don't know how because I don't think I've done anything special, but Milo is really quite balanced over uneven terrain. So when we had our cross country lesson with Cam and Beer, he noted it and said, you know, he's he doesn't change his pace, he doesn't change his leg over uneven terrain, he holds himself quite nicely. And I think the only thing I've done is, if you listen to Lucinda Green, she's got a cross country academy, she recommends doing rough ground training. So whenever I'm out on a hack, if there's like a grass verge, or there's a little bank, or there's a mound, or something uneven that I can take him over safely, I will. Whether that's just in walk or if it's in trot, I'll get him to go over it once or twice and then we'll continue on with the hack. And I do think that has really helped him learn where his feet are. We also did the steps a few times. Again, he is quite good at steps. And you'll notice on this time, once we get to the top, he starts sort of waving his head around a bit. And that was his mini celebration when we went up the bank for the first time. Sadly, it wasn't on video, but he really bonked. He was fully enjoying himself, absolutely loved it and it was just so nice to see him realising what his job was and realising, hey, I'm actually kind of good at this. guys, I apologise, it is so bright, so I don't really know, I don't know what way to face because everywhere is bright. Milo is having a hand graze, he has just, like literally about two minutes before I started filming, broken his head collar, but thankfully he broke it when there was another hole, so it's not the end of the world, I will just send it off for somebody to fix and I can use all the others because if he breaks it again, we are out of holes on that one side, which is fun. But he's been really, really good. He's dealt with being stabled absolutely amazingly. It's He's literally just acted as if it's no different from home. I do apologise, this is so haphazard. Our lesson this morning was a bit of show jumping and then a little bit of arena cross country to prep for this afternoon, where we're going to actually go out on the cross country course. I mentioned to Nikki yesterday and I said, you know, He's not really a fan of Ditchy, and he's never really done a Trocaner before. He's done like a fake tiger trap one, but he's not done an actual Trocaner. So today she brought out the water tray, and bless him, he went over it first time, but he kind of cat leapt it, and it was like, oh my god! And then the next few times he didn't really like it if he accidentally touched it, but by the end he was, you know, cantering over it, flying over it like it was absolutely nothing. 
and then arena cross country he's just he's so cool he's such a dude he um he really found the bank fun uh, we cantered up it and when we got to the top he just started bonking because he was so like happy and pleased with himself and then even when we were doing um things like the steps or even like, with the water tray at the start of the lesson he was just like shaking his head he was just throwing himself around because he knew when he had done it right and when he had done it well and he was just so happy with himself which was really lovely to see and feel and he's one of those that like he throws shapes under me but I don't feel scared and then I'm never like oh gosh he's gonna get me off in fact when he when we went up the bank and he started bonking I just went Wee! And yeah he was just like he's so fun he's so game for it all and Nikki said something really lovely which was that um he's a credit to the work I've been doing with him in that it's been consistent and it's been easy and fun which means that he's just kind of taking it all in his stride and he's willing to give everything a go for me because he's trusting that I'm not going to do anything nasty to him which is really nice because you've been a very good boy yeah. and he's made some friends he's made friends with uh, a little chestnut Irish sport who's the same height as him called Chino and then his stable neighbour is called Harry and there's one that looks has got a face very similar to Vallegro here and that one is Tico and Tico is lovely as well but yeah, so I'm just giving him a little bit of a hand graze now, a um, little bit of a walk around leg stretch, and then I'm going to go and watch the cross country lesson before me and see what they get up to. And then we will be getting ready to ride at half past three is our next lesson. So he's had a nice bit of a break and a nice chill. And because it is warm, he's had a sponge off after every ride. But yeah, just enjoying it. <laughs> It's been really good, really confidence giving. I've not been scared at anything we've done so far, which is really nice. Good girl, eyes up, look up, nice and straight, push, push. Yeah, beautiful jump, good girl. And big round circle. Lovely. Super lovely, good girl, and she goes back to the other lot of people. Lovely, good girl.
Did anybody else like some water? You weren't expecting to see me again, or at least not in, you know, sort of sleeveless attire. So the cross country session went amazing. I am so absolutely over the moon with Milo. He just took everything in his stride. He didn't hesitate, even at the ditch. I, when we went to Amanda Taylor's, we saw in the vlog, it was a bit of a persuasion to get him to walk over it. And we were cantering over the ditch like it wasn't even there today. So I am just absolutely over the moon with him. So, so pleased. So <laughs> after the lesson, I tied him up, gave him his feed and took his boots off. And I was doing something around the other side of the stable door. And he just started creating. It's absolutely losing his head. And when I looked up, he had got his lead rope over his head behind his ears. And he hates anything near his ears. And so he was freaking out, he spilled his tea everywhere and I thought he was going to break his head collar again but thankfully Nevaeh was trying to snap before his head collar did, thankfully. So he was a bit panicked, he had a little bit of food I think stuck in his throat and I think he just slightly grazed his head against the bars during the whole incident. He was okay. He managed to cough up whatever food he had stuck in his throat and he went back to eating the spilled food on the floor after, you know, like two, three minutes of being comforted because bless his heart, little Poppet was like, his lips were quivering and he was like, I'm just a bit scared, mum. So yeah, he, he settled down and he ate his dinner and one of the lovely girls um, who I've made friends with there called Emma, she kept an eye on him for me so that I could put all my tack away and then quickly run and have a shower because tonight instead of actually staying for the demo which they have on i think they've got some like iberian dressage horses i'm actually doing a pole show so you may not know you may know if you follow me on instagram again but on top of horse riding i also do kickboxing and one of the sports i started doing last year was pole fitness which is really really good for building up all of your muscles and all of your core strength and just it's like a full body workout it's so amazing so it's my first ever pole show tonight um if i'm feeling good about it i'll put some clips in but yeah so i'm doing that tonight i'm just driving back to it now and then fingers crossed i'll be back and i'll give him a check over probably top his water up top his hay nets up skip out anything that he's got in the stable and yeah that'll be it for the night but overall super happy with him today <laughs> he loved arena cross country in the morning when we went up the bank he did a little bonk the first time sadly there's not a video of it but we counted up the bank and we got to the top and he just started bonking and it was just so funny because it didn't scare me because it was just pure enjoyment and loving what he's doing which is just so fantastic and i'm so so chuffed with him so I will sign off here. I may put a bit of the poll show in again if I feel good about it. And there will only be certain bits to keep everything, you know, you 
user user friendly on YouTube. But yeah, I will leave it here for tonight. So it's the final morning of camp, and I gave Milo the sloppiest, most disgusting dinner you have ever seen. If you thought part one was bad, this is even worse. Topped up his water, gave him a hay net, mucked his stable out, and got ready for the accumulator. We entered the 70 centimeter, well, 75 centimeter accumulator, and we didn't do too bad. We actually got fourth place. Really happy with it because he didn't hesitate at any of the jumps. Nice. Lovely. Yay. Well, Milo's just having a hand graze before our lesson. Well, no, this is very naughty. I do just realise that now, but it's not really going to kill him having, you know, 10 minutes. He was very good today. We did a little show jumping round in the morning, which was an accumulator, and literally after the first cross pole, I lost my stirrup. <laughs> I lost my left stirrup. Don't know how. Hasn't happened for ages. And I just had to kind of continue round to the joker without my stirrup <laughs> and just jump it. But he was so good. He dealt with me being flappy with my left leg trying to find my stirrup. I did get it back after the joker and then he jumped the rest of them absolutely beautifully. I kind of did a sort of handbrake stop and turn for him just so we could do one last jump but I don't think we got any penalties because I think we got right back in the start box when it hit one. So hopefully because we did the joker twice we're going to be well up on the leaderboard because he cleared everything. He didn't knock a single jump down. So yeah, really, really happy with him this weekend. He's been so, so good. He's behaved himself. We just had a little fight yesterday when he just got the lead rope around his head. But it's all just lessons learned. He's been an absolute superstar. So aim for the cross-country lesson today is I really want to do the 80 centimetre wagon. Because we've done the 70. He's done a couple of 80s. And I just think if we can do an 80 wagon, because wagons always jump nicely. And that's going to be a really nice way to finish off our cross-country and jumping portion of the camp. And we could just have a blast and have fun. And then he can go back to his friends. I don't know what... There's no one there. Oh, oh okay, it's nice. <laughs> Bless him. I really didn't get a lot of videos of our cross country session, but this was us over the 70 centimetre wagon and then the 80 centimetre wagon. I was so, so happy with how he jumped. Like, look at his little face. Oof. Oh, I love him so much. He was so good. Obviously, I got some hat cam footage for you guys as well. So, this first one is us over the 70 wagon. And then we went straight back round and we went for the 80 wagon, which I think I clucked and sort of rolled my tongue at him more for my own confidence than for his, but he was so, so good. And as a nice note to finish camp on, I took the thoroughbred on the gallops. He was so good. 
I think we got to 27.1 miles an hour and I turned into a bit of a chihuahua, so just enjoy. It's just so cool. Yeah. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> I was go I was like yipping the whole way round. <laughs> Good boy. Ooh, good boy. Hi guys, we are back at home. So I'm just walking Milo out to his field now. He's had dinner. So he's had a little bit of chill time after getting off the trailer. Just have some din-dins, take in his surroundings and realise that he's back at home. He has been so amazing. Like this weekend is just, it's really, really helped cement our partnership and I feel we've come away so much more confident in each other and knowing how we're both going to react than we were beforehand. So <laughs> we went on the gallops. As you could have probably noticed, I apparently turned into a chihuahua because I was having so much fun with my boy. We just went hell for leather. I had my Equilab app tracking and we hit 27.1 miles an hour around the gallops. So yeah, we were absolutely motoring. I think the optimum time for the Pontus for gallops, if you're doing, you know, sort of a BE, that is two minutes 33 optimum time. And we got in at one minute 34. So <laughs> we were very, very quick. Before that, you also saw us on the cross country. And today's lesson was just like, we came out of the gate, ready to go. We were just pinging, like we've jumped a couple of the seventies and a little one just to warm up. And then once we sort of got in our stride, it was like, right, we're going over all in the eighties. If there's an 80 option, that's the option we're taking. And oh my God, did he really, really step up to the plate. He understood the questions. If he hesitated, he listened to me and went anyway. He just absolutely flew it. He's been so incredible and I'm so, so thankful for him because he's just made this weekend so easy, <laughs> apart from loading at the end, which <laughs> if you were one of the girls that were watching me load him, you may have heard me saying that I was going to send him to the factory. Um, I'm not going to send him to the factory, but you can understand when it's frustrating when they load beautifully at one end, but not at the other. 
so yeah he really really outdid himself and now I'm quite excited to let him go back with his mates he's gonna have a nice big old roll and this week is just gonna be sort of like a bit of a week off a bit not he's not gonna do anything until uh two, Thursday yeah so he's got up until Thursday off and we're just gonna hack he's just gonna hack because he is earned his holiday He's got hacking this week and then next week I am on holiday so he's going to have a full week off. I'm going to have a mate just come up and give him a bucket of feed every other day and just keep an eye on him. But yeah, I am so pleased, so happy. I hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog or vlogs if I multiply it. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know how much footage I have. But honestly, he is just like, he's so amazing. For six years old, his first time ever going away with me. My first time ever going away, compared to where we were in September, I'm just like, <laughs> I am so happy. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you wherever our next adventure takes us. Bye!